Hello everybody, you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm finally back for another Fake Grand Order video. It's been a very long time. I was supposed to release another one. Oh, uh, I had a window to release something else, but then there was something in it that I didn't like, and then I never had a chance to re-record it, so... <laughs> wasn't able to do it, but now I'm finally back, and I'm here to talk about what's coming up for December, because it's the end of the month already, and we're here for the final month of uh, 2023 in Pago NA, so let's get right into it. First things first, we have to look back at the previous year, which is this is a thing that only NA does, which is the advent calendar. So this is the advent calendar for last year, which was 2022. I would expect it to be basically close to on par to this one. So if we look through here, uh, is there a thing that's a total? No. Okay, so basically what we got here was one, two, three, four, five summon tickets in total. And I think enough quartz to equal up to a multi, if I remember right. Three, six, and plus nine is 15. And then you add an additional 15, and that is 30. So I would expect the exact same. Uh, and yeah, I would expect basically the same thing here. Um, some people always think that on the 25th, maybe we'll. <laughs> this is going to be the year where they're going to add something crazy, like a four star ticket or something. Um. Who knows? There's definitely things they could approve on it. It's nice to get free stuff, but when you're getting free stuff where there's like 500 friend points, mm, don't really care that much about it. <laughs> it's not it's not the greatest. 10, 10 green cubes? Yeah, not... It's really just more the, the tickets and the prisms that you... The tickets and the uh, quartz that you care about the most. But we'll see. Either way, getting 30 quarts and 5 tickets is nothing to scoff at, and it's pretty nice, and this happens every year, and I would expect around the same amount, so we'll see if it ends up being exactly the same for this year. Oh yeah, here was the total amount. 5 tickets, 2,000 friend points, 12 million QP, 5 gold, five of the silver foes of attack and HP, 50 green mana prisms, 8 teeny XP cards, 30 sand quartz, and 5 golden apples. So we'll see if they can improve on this one. Now the funny thing is, is that the, an advent calendar is supposed to be like, it's not supposed to be filled with, I guess if you don't know what an advent calendar is, but an advent calendar is supposed to be, have like tiny little chocolates in it. Like a little tiny treat. So this makes sense for a tiny little treat. But anyway, let's move on. Maybe 15 quarts completely kills that. But yeah, there we go. I believe this is going on right now, which is the main quest clear campaign. Uh, get to Avalon Le Fay as quickly as possible. You only have until the end of Christmas, <laughs> close to the end of December. Uh, this happened on JP, the Katunkska. So December 22nd, I would guess maybe a little bit earlier than that for us. Uh, but we'll see. I would hope it would be around-ish the same time, but we will see. Uh, currently going on, we have the Interlude campaign, and this went from December 2nd to December 9th, and I think ours is currently going through... Do, 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 do. This is miserable. Okay, let me look at the NA side real quick. This one's currently going from the 26th to December 3rd, so that would mean that I would guess sometime around December 2nd is when we would have Christmas. That would be the start of the Christmas event, if they want to keep it kind of similar to how they would do it in JP. Mmm, which is kind of... Mmm, don't know how I feel about that, and that means after December, it was, let me see... Um, to the 22nd, it would have been one, two, three, four, five days to actually catch up on Lost Belt 6. So I would, again, if you have the time, catch up to Lost Belt 6 now while you have the chance. It is the best chance. But uh, let's go into Christmas 2021 real quick. The interlude campaign is already going on. Uh, if you wanted to summon, hopefully your summons for Hokusai went well. If it didn't, I'm very sorry to hear that, and hopefully if you're going for Galatea, best of luck getting going for Galatea. Christmas 2021, this is the event that's going to be coming up. You have to have cleared Fuyuki, so very easy to uh, get it and attain it. We'll be getting a Christmas Martha, which is right here, Martha Santa. And then also, apparently Emmy has costume dresses in here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, again, I think they don't, they never ever re-ran this, I think on JP, let me double check, I'm pretty sure they didn't rerun this yet. Yeah, they didn't rerun this, uh, because this is the year they started doing less reruns, because they heard that people want to do less, which is not true, um, but that's what they heard, <laughs> for whatever reason. 
So best to get this and get Martha while you can before you have to wait for another weird combination quest where it's like three of them put together. I think there is currently one of those going on right now. That might actually be where Martha is right now. Nope, it's Nightingale, Chacha, and Brioma? Oh, that's right, because Guda Guda's coming up. Man, Guda Guda's happening late this year. That's crazy. Maybe it'll be Guda Guda Christmas. Who knows? Um, What was I doing? Okay, yes. In the summoning campaign for here, this is where Skahawk, uh, Scotty finally gets a first... I see her face, and I'm immediately saying her actual name. But Scotty gets her strengthening, and she'll also have a banner, which features Benny Enma and Emia, and also Martha. There are no new units on this one. If you want a new unit, it is the Christmas unit. So best of luck with that, if that's what you're going for. But there's also going to be a strengthening, which will be a strengthening to Scotty's NP. Which turns it to from good to really good. Um, I'm not allowed to call it bad anymore. Because now it has an attack increase added to it. And that's really, really nice. And that should help a little bit for certain dudes. And I think the crit damage got increased by like an insane amount. 30% level 1. 50% of level 1 now. That's pretty good. If you get her to MP5, that's 100% crit damage up. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice buff. It's re they really did a lot. I feel like this kind of helps my uh, case I was making beforehand that this uh, this was the weakest part of her kit, but it's still very good, and, and I was underestimating it for many years, so it was always very good. They just decided to make it better, because that is literally, I think, the weakest thing on her, outside of maybe this ability here, maybe, but reducing critical attack chance, uh, critical attack chance is pretty actually helpful in certain uh, events and things like that. But anyway, I digress. She's going to get that strength thing. It's going to make her really nice to have, uh, which is a very cool buff to Scotty. Next, this is an A-list. Let's go back here. After Christmas, there will be a satellite commemoration campaign in Fukuyo, which I believe is their way of saying, like, hey, here's a live stream to tell you what's going to be happening next, so we'll likely get something like this related. An excuse to give us, like, 16 St. Quartz somehow, I think. We'll see. Uh, the main quest campaign, clear campaign part four, really, they're hurry up and finish and get to Lost Belt 6 as quickly as possible. This will be given to, do. this is where we'll get Stargazer's Teapot if you have cleared Avalon Le Fay before December 26th. Uh, when this is, I believe, the teapot that's used to give extra bond points, which is going to be very nice for me as someone who has plenty of units who would love to have their bond increase, and there's a summoning campaign related to this, which is where Medusane will return, along with Percival and Lancelot, and this is likely where a decent amount of people will be have been saving for and returning for, is Medusane, and if you're not summoning for Medusane, you are very likely saving it for New Year's. <laughs> but yeah, this is where Medusane will come back, and she'll be here sometime after the Christmas campaign, assuming that it follows the schedule. It should be literally after Christmas after that and the banner should last until new year's in theory we'll see if na decides to keep it the same way but then we'll have after that we'll have tungska sanctuary they've already teased it a bit here but this is what it is you're going to need to have cleared avalon le Fay. if you want to participate in this clear avalon le Fay. there's a lot to go through avalon le Fay is good you should be clearing it. I'm going through it right now. I just haven't had the time to sit down and actually read it. That's the thing that's probably most detrimental is that one, it's a lot to read, and two, it's kind of annoying to fight things <laughs> like most Fago things. Um, but you know, catch up on it if you can if you want to participate in this. And you want to participate in this because, slight spoilers, I guess, this is going to be a raid event. And that's going to be your best chance to get, like, actual farming materials. This will be the last raid of the year. And, yeah. Get get here. Join the raids. Because <laughs> the raids do not last very long. <laughs> they never do. So, please. Get clear Avalon Le Fay. Join in with everyone else and have a good old fun time. In terms of the summoning campaign, even though she is on the cover of it. Uh, oh, actually, no. Funny enough, these two are on the cover of it. And they're on the banners. Tygon, um... I'm not going to try and pronounce the last name because I know I'm going to butcher it, even though my brother told me how to say it correctly. Um, Taigong, he's going to be here. He's going to be a writer. And then also, oh god, the <laughs> Dobrenya, 
the four. I'm, I'm pronouncing that terrible because it's Russian, so I don't know how to say it. She'll be here as a four-star writer as well. Uh, I forgot about that she was on this completely, and that's annoying because I would probably actually end up skipping Vich to actually try it for her. I have a better chance of actually getting her over Vich, even though there's no reason. She's not limited, so it's actually possible to get her from a ticket and stuff like that, but... Uh, good luck trying to tell that to my brain. And there'll also be CEs that go along with the event as well, since this is a heavy raid event, this is all like... These are all about like, yo, damage up, get your damage in. <laughs> they are 100%, this is 100% just raid quests, get your raiding in. And if you want to know the actual, uh, actually I'll wait a little bit just in case you don't want to know where you're fighting, but anyway. Get caught up. Get going. Good luck to you. And then finally, that should be the last major thing for the year. There'll be a broadcast campaign and this will lead us into New Year's. And into New Year's, this is likely the other thing that people are going to be skipping, so, uh, saving for, so I'll just mention it real quick. First of all... This is going to be the return of, not the return of, it's going to have another Vich in it, aka another Koinskaya. This one being the Koinskaya of Darkness, because the previous one is called the Koinskaya of Light. Also, Koinskaya of Light is coming back, and she comes in New Year's and not that far off from the other Koinskaya, uh, which is insane. So if you're looking for the Buster support, she's right here, and that's also likely where a decent amount of it's gonna be a little bit weird either you're gonna you're waiting and trying to get Melusain, or you already have her and now you don't have bitch and now you're trying to stay for bitch while also trying to get the other version of her which is um the other coin skya it's a little bit screwy and yet yeah, that's what it's gonna be looking like for this year and in terms of this year i have a video coming up pretty soon where i'm gonna be talking about um stuff to look for in the next coming year for 2024 because as I was going through these banners they were originally gonna be a part of another video and then I looked at all the things that are gonna be coming out and it's a minefield it is dangerous it is a rough year coming up especially with and this is only based off of what JP got who knows what NA is gonna change on our side they could change things now for all we know the ultimate jump scare they could figure out they could figure out a way to make, um, if they really wanted, which I don't think they would do, because I think at this point they are trying to not piss off the JP player base too much by giving us, but there's no reason for him not to be included in, like, the summoning campaign. Just replace one of these. You can replace, uh, Prototype Arthur, <laughs> and you could put Oberon, and you would definitely get people, catch people off guard. You could replace any of them, honestly. Anyone that is not quite Sky of Darkness. And you would get people to summon for them. But, you know, not saying that will happen. I'm just saying that something that could happen. But at the same time, I don't, I don't think it's actually going to happen. I just want to talk about it. I just like talking. But yeah, that's what December's looking like. It's going to be a very uh, hectic time. As the people who are caught up in Lost Belt 6, you're just basically waiting for the Tungska Sanctuary and the Christmas event. While everyone else is going to try and balance doing Christmas, which is a lotto grind. Um... Which, if you don't know what Lotto Grinding is, it is a good place to go. We're going from a Lotto Grind into a raid, and that is the crate. I'm so glad I have so much apples prepared. <laughs> because, oh my god. I'm gonna have to try and keep up with this. So I'm gonna be trying to do Lotto stuff, catch up to the story, maybe do some of the interlude stuff if I have time, and then prepare for the raids, and it's gonna be a crazy time. The December... It's a December to remember, that's for sure. But yeah, that's what it's looking like for this year. So, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, oh, shit! I, <laughs> my desk fell apart! <laughs> One moment. No, I'm fine. We're all good. Uh, as always, you can subscribe to the channel if you ended up finding anything helpful. Uh, feel free to tell me what you end up, what you're looking forward to in December. Or if you're looking forward to something in the new year as well. Uh, specifically the actual, I guess, I guess you could say the new year in general, but the actual month of January in the new year. Uh, I really would be curious how many people are going to be saving for Clan Skya and just completely skipping all this, and how many people are going, no, I need Melusane now, I'm going to go for Melusane, and how many people are going, no, I actually need Taigong, I need him now. Feel free to tell me. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Goodbye.